my name's John Bray. Uh, I'm CEO of Vanguard Furniture Company, but I'm also uh, on the Board of Trustees and serving my third term on the Board of Directors uh, at the college. And um, I, was, I look forward to uh, sharing some experiences I've had in my military uh, career. Um, I was in the Marine Corps, uh, served in 1964 to 1967. And the last uh, part of that career, I was uh, I served in Vietnam, and um, some of the things that uh, that come to mind from that experience, I, I believe that we're all experience we all are products of our life experiences, and certainly that experience in the Marine Corps shaped my life. Um, just briefly, I, I signed up to uh, to be in the PLC program in the Marine Corps during my freshman year in college. Uh, some people were uh, explaining the, the service aspect and what I liked about that program was it was really in essence OCS but I got uh, three years longevity uh, so as every promotion came along I was at the top uh, pay grade in that and so that I must say that influenced me to sign up early so I graduated with a commission second lieutenant in the Marine Corps and uh, after serving uh, for six months in Quantico at the basic school for officers in the Marine Corps, uh, I was really on my way to Vietnam. I served in, um, in uh, California as well as Hawaii on the way to Vietnam. And I was thinking uh, it's hard to put three years of uh, experience in the military in a, a short uh, time track here, but one of the things I felt like uh, I want to share with you is a little part of history that, that not many of us know about. <clears throat> um, I was on at least uh, two amphibious raids when I was in Vietnam. Uh, they weren't uh, to the level of Normandy uh, landing or Incheon uh, in the Korean War or uh, the other Pacific Island amphibious uh, landings of the Second World War. But they were more on a smaller scale, and uh, the battalion I was on, um, in, uh, first division, first battalion, fifth Marines, um, was uh, was uh, had the duty of uh, being on call for amphibious landings, and we did two of those in Vietnam. One was uh, in the south of of uh, the country, uh, close to Saigon, just below where. The, uh, the Saigon River empties into the South China Sea, and the intelligence had uh, indicated that there was a, a, an enemy hospital in this jungle area of mangrove swamps. So uh, we had about seven ships and about a thousand Marines and Navy people, and we did amphibious landing there. And then about three weeks later, did one just north of uh, Way in, uh, in South Vietnam. And again, that's, uh, I felt like was one of the things that you, you rarely hear about. I think there was a third amphibious landing in Vietnam, but you don't hear anything about that part of, of the, the war. Uh, at least I haven't read much about it. So the, the Marine Corps obviously shaped my life uh, in, in pretty much every way, whether it was it's in relationships with uh, my family or friends socially, uh, uh, and certainly uh, in my career in the, in the furniture business. And uh, it's all about uh, people and uh, getting along with people and, and being on winning teams. Uh, again, as I mentioned, we're all products of our life experiences and clearly my military experience shaped pretty much every aspect of my life. Yeah, another thing that, that I got out of the military, I think the, 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 the area in the Marine Corps, especially in the Marine Corps officer is is you're, you're trained to lead men. And, and so, you know, that part of the experience, I think, it was invaluable because in, in a war environment, obviously you're trying to protect your, your, your men and, and make sure that, that you're taking care of them in every facet of their life, whether it's uh, their, their girlfriend, as, uh, they they're, they're ditched them uh, and they get a Dear John letter, or uh, they have health problems, or, um, you know, it's it's just you 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 get to know uh, everybody in an intimate way, and obviously you're training and protecting each other and having each other's back because at the end of the day, uh, when you go out on a patrol or, or an operation, you want to make sure that everybody comes back uh, healthy. 
So you train for that and you're, you're always looking for, to make sure that uh, the safety and, and um, you know, the, the good health in every way of, of your, your, your Marines were, were paramount in, in your mind on a 24-7 basis. As Veteran Day comes around, you know, you hear the expression, thanks for your service. And I must say that uh, I, I feel uh, a, a sense of uh, immense pride in serving uh, my country. And to have people express thank you for your service really just gives me a great sense of pride and satisfaction for, for the years of, of protecting and servicing, service, serving our country.